hover effects are one of my favorite things to code in Squarespace. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a zoom in hover effect for the image blocks on your Squarespace website. All the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but without further ado, I'm gonna share my screen so we can get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and on this page, I have three different types of image blocks. If we hop into edit mode, I wanna show you really quickly here, each one of these image blocks has a different design setting. I'm gonna double click on this and select the design tab so you can see we have fit, fill, followed by shape. And if you haven't explored the shape options available in Squarespace yet, you are in for a treat. There are definitely some fun things to play around with there. But I wanted to show you that each one of these design settings is going to work with the code that we're about to add to Squarespace. So let's select exit. And on the left-hand side of the screen, I'm going to click on Pages, Website Tools, Custom CSS. Now you'll find this code directly underneath the video. What this code is telling the computer browser is that when you hover over an image block, take the image inside of that image block and scale it up to 120%. Now when I move my cursor over the image, we're going to see Gus the Pineapple zoom in inside that image container. I love seeing this in action over the shape so you can really see how it stays inside the image container, but the image itself is zoomed in. Now if you want the whole image, including the container like this shape right here, to change size, remove these letters I and MG. Now when I hover over this content block, the whole thing is going to get bigger. Now if you have other content on the page, it might overlap like these two examples here. You can see the title underneath the image is kind of overlapping the image a little bit, so be careful there. But if you want it to stay inside the image container, add the letters IMG. The other part of this code that you might want to customize is the size. Scale 1.2 means 120% of its original size. We can change this and move it to maybe 1.8 or even Three. Let's make it gigantic. We'll make it 300% its normal size. That's really zooming in on the sunglasses there. You can play around with this value until it's perfect for your own unique style that you're creating on your Squarespace website. Now, I do want to mention that this code is specifically for the content blocks, an image content block in a Squarespace website. There are tons of other types of images available in Squarespace. We've got blog posts, thumbnails, portfolio images, gallery sections, list sections, so many to work with. But as long as you have the right selector, you can use this transform code and apply it to any of those. Now, let me show you here what we can do with this list section. This list section or people section features these images, and as you can see, it's not responding to our code. I'm going to open my Squarespace Code AI custom Cody. I spent six months training this AI on all the Squarespace code I know, so I can ask it questions like this. Let's create a zoom hover effect for images in my list section. We want this one to scale up to 120%. Custom Cody is going to give me the instant answer for modifying my Squarespace website. And they actually thought of something I totally forgot about, and that was smoothing out the transition so it's not instant. I love how fast Custom Cody is at this. I just click copy, and back here in Squarespace, I can paste this code, and now we're going to get that zoom in hover effect on all of these images. This smooth transition, a great code to add. I totally didn't think about that for the first one, but I'll include both of these codes in the description below, along with the link to Custom Cody in case you want to chat with a custom GPT that I trained to be an expert on Squarespace code. Whatever you've added to customize your site, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. All right, Squarespacer, you'll find that code underneath this video along with the link to custom Cody and a link to another tutorial of mine about creating custom hover effects for Squarespace. If you liked this video, definitely check that one out. I'm Becca Harpain from Inside the Square. Thank you so much for watching. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Good news, Squarespacer. We finally have an AI that truly understands Squarespace. Meet Custom Cody. Built specifically for Squarespace users and trained on every nuance of the program, Custom Cody is your AI-powered assistant for effortless expert-level Squarespace customization. Available now at customcody.com.